Hello and welcome to another studio tutorial. One of the most frequent questions you're going to get asked as a designer is where can I find the instructions for that? At some point as a digital designer, you're going to want to create your own instructions either for sale or to make them available to the Lego community. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own basic set of instructions. In later videos, we'll look at some more advanced options. Studio does have a great instruction maker, but it does take some getting used to, especially for people who are used to LDD or other designing programs. We're going to start by building a simple wall. And when you're creating your instructions, you're going to be using the step list on the right hand side of the screen. You can see that right now we have step one and there are no bricks in this step. As we bring a brick up, now if we look over, we have that brick in step one. Next, we can add a step either by clicking on this text that says add step or on this icon at the bottom of the screen. Alternatively, and most of the time, I use Control and T, and that will add a step for us as well. As you would expect in our second step, when we bring up a brick, it gets put into the second step. I went ahead and created some more steps for this wall so I can show you how to edit the step list out. If you want to move a brick from one step to another, say we wanted to take this, these two by four bricks and have them in the same step, you can select the brick from the viewport or you can select it over in the step list. And it's simply a matter of just dragging it into the step that you want it into. So now we see that we have no bricks in step two anymore. If we wish to delete that, you go over to the trash can and boom, that's gone. Now, say we wanted to add another brick underneath. If we drag that out, you're going to notice that it's automatically put on the bottom. So in order to do that, we're going to have to add a step, bring that step to the top and then move this brick all the way to the top in step one. You may wish to add bricks into steps within the step list. For instance, if we wanted to add another brick into step three, you would click on step three, grab your brick from the palette, bring that up, and it will put that into step three for you. If you noticed, when I clicked one brick into that step, the next one automatically went to the bottom of the step list. This can be rather annoying. There is no way to lock the step in that you're working on that I know of anyway. So I hope eventually that this uh, gets sorted and you can continually work in one step. But for now, know that the next brick that comes up is always going to be on the bottom step. One thing you can do as well is take a series of bricks and put them within a single step. So we're going to go to step three again. We're going to click add step and this puts a step after step three. And say we want to take this whole section so we will copy that. We'll go into step four and paste it. And it puts all those bricks into step four. This is a good workaround if you want to get away from that annoying thing where the bricks always go to the bottom. If you just build everything in the bottom and then cut it, go to the step where you want to insert them add your step and then place them in there. One thing you'll notice is 
if we had a really big long list of bricks right now, if you click on this, it will automatically scroll to where that brick is in the steps. I'm going to show you a few little shortcuts you can use to help navigate around the step list because when you have a big project, you're obviously going to have a lot of steps. First thing is if you want to only see the bricks in a particular step or up to a particular step, you click on step view here. And when you click on that step, it's only going to show the bricks leading up to and including that step. If we wish to close down all of the steps so that we can only see the step numbers, we have this button that says collapse all steps or alternatively we have the next one that says open them all. You want to use the open and collapse tool if you have a lot of steps that you want to move at once. For instance, if we wanted to take steps four, five, and six and move them to the top of our instructions, we grab them, select, and drag them up. And now you can see that those steps have all moved. Another new feature that Studio has added in the step list is this check issues button. This will bring you to bricks that are not available in a certain color so that you can change those out as you need. I mentioned in the submodel video that submodels will show up a little differently in the step list. So let's create this and turn it into a submodel so you can see what I'm talking about. And now we have our step one and our submodel is within step one. If we click to edit our submodel, it will open up all the steps. Now we're ready to go to the instruction maker, which is on the top bar, the last button. We click on that, it will give us this text box saying that we will now proceed into the instruction maker away from the building mode. You can click that so that you never have to see this message again. Okay, so here we are, we have our step editor and along the left hand side, if you click on these panels, you can see your steps and we have ours is all mismatched right now. So we can do the same thing that we did in our step view and rearrange things so that they make sense. So this one needs to go up one step. So now we'll look. Ta-da, ta-da, and then we have a brick here that should be at the bottom, so we can call this step six, and that will take that to the bottom. And now it is nice and organized for us. Studio does have a built-in step generator. Within the step editor tab, if you click and drag over the bricks, you can see down here on the right hand side, it says divide into steps. And this will create our steps for us. Unfortunately, this only works with really simple models. The algorithm is not powerful enough to do really complex models. I'm going to show you another example right now. This is a girder design I played with yesterday. It is quite a bit more complicated than our straight brick wall. There are sub models in it and lots of different angles. And if we click on divide into steps and we start going down, it looks pretty good from there. But if we go into our sub models, and view steps from down in this option, you can see it is kind of a mess in there. <laughs> so I recommend 
that for very simple stuff definitely use the divide into steps option but if you're doing any sort of complex model then you're going to have to go through the step menu on your own and put the bricks in which steps that they should be this can take a lot of time but in the end it's going to be worth it because you're going to have instructions that make sense okay the last thing i'm going to talk about in this video is the page design tab this is where we get our output for our step list there are lots of options available in the page design i'm going to be doing an entire video just on page design by itself for now you can tell it's laid out exactly like a lego manual would be so nice and easy to follow with your step number and your parts list. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this will be helpful for you when you go to make your own instructions. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about the Connect tool. I've been asked a lot of questions about it. So I will be doing that video. Thanks again. Have a fantastic day. Keep dreaming of bricks. Bye bye.